Hey Cancer, how are you doing? This reading is for Cancer for the week of November the 11th to the 17th. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind this is a general read. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And if you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can do so in the description box below. Click on the link. It will take you to the website and you can check out the options there. Also, a shout out and a thank you for all the ways that you like, share, and subscribe. I couldn't do these readings without all your wonderful support. So thank you so much. I'm so truly grateful. What is going on for the fabulous and most magical cancers? What do you need to know? What do you need to see for your highest good? Present time, the emperor. Major Arcana for Aries. Also read that as Scorpio. What's coming towards you? The Knight of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. What you are focused on is the Six of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. In your blocked and challenged position is the Hangman. Major Arcana for Pisces. And your outcome is the Ace of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Okay, Cancer, let's clarify this and find out what is going on. At the bottom of the deck, you do have the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords can be an internal conflict, insecurities, negatively thinking, or there is something about fighting, power, control, and jealousy. There is some kind of like controlled energy. It could be a father figure. Or there is something about a CEO, um, somebody who owns their own business. Or there is an energy of cut your losses, lose the battle, and at the end of the day, you will win the ward, the war, a ward. You will win the war or a ward. You'll be awarded something. And with the hangman in your blocked and challenged position, there's a sacrifice, a new way of thinking and a new way of understanding the situation at hand. Or to cut your losses, cut yourself out of this stagnancy or hangman mode or whatever you're energetically holding on to, or I have to control this. This is a need to let go of the rope. Just go with the flow and see what happens. Let's see what this emperor is about. This is firm but fair decisions or taking back power and control in your own life. Like I said, bossing up, leveling up or being awarded something. Because the Six of Wands is about victory, triumph, success, and hitting some kind of midpoint or milestone in your life. And everything you needed to know in some kind of situation, you can tie that up and then off to the next adventure, which actually brings you in some kind of new opportunity. Or there is a windfall coming in. It's something tangible, something you can taste, touch, and feel and get your hands on it. Emperor is about commitment. Or there is something about seeing the bigger objective. What is this uh, emperor about? And the page of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. New beginning, new opportunity, new possibility. This is the card of seeing yourself as limitless with potential. Limitless with the sky is the limit on where you want to take your business and career. This is also some kind of good news. My frisky kitty. Enthusiasm, excitement, creativity, passion, desire, attraction. And with that page of wands, limitless of where you want to take your business and career. Limitless in 8 billion people on the planet to date. Limitless of where you want to relocate and move. And there's something that has been hanging you up or been delaying. Either somebody has been delaying this or you have been delaying or holding on to something that's stagnant. Again, the hangman, see how it's like, cut it. Eight of swords. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. But you're not. This is just your thought pattern. Looping thoughts, thinking about a situation, a person, a place over and over and over again. So the thoughts that you thought yesterday are the ones that you are bringing to your present moment today or you can cut it out knock it off this is thinking a new thought knight of cups in pursuit of joy pleasure fun happiness there also can be some kind of invitation it could be a friend somebody charming charismatic or there is just like hey do you want to get together 
or, you know, in pursuit of happiness. And the five of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. And the fives in the tarot signifies change. Something has to change. Something has to give. And in order for there to be change, we can't change other people or control on what they are doing. But what we can change is our focus. It's what are we focused on? So it's like keeping your eye on some kind of reward or awarded. And there is some kind of com competing or competition. Or a pot stirrer here. So drama, conflict, arguments, fighting, tension, possibly even with a love interest. Or this is about an internal conflict. So again, um, that, those eight of, eight of swords is self-imposed prison. Feeling stuck, tied, trapped in a situation that your hands are tied, that you can't get out of something. But really, it's just a new way of thinking and understanding the whole situation at hands and let's see what this six of wands is six of wands can also be my jealousy card especially when you have that five of swords and yeah and it's clarified with the six of wands wow six of wands on top of six of wands i'm just going to get another card there could be two things Receiving a ton of attention or getting a ton of attention. And it's almost like you have to bat these people off. Death card. Yeah, again, there's some kind of change or transition or completion and some kind of midpoint or milestone. So again, if you're in some kind of legal thing here because the emperor can be law and order there's good news coming towards you and I feel like there has been an energy of inner conflict or getting together with people that you do actually love but this is like victory on top of victory on top of victories <laughs> or there's some kind of reward or being awarded Page of Cups, surprise, gift, an apology. There has been something that has been overdue or delayed. This can also be you being surprised. But this is somebody who's shy, sensitive. Or there has something about good news. This is a very masculine energy. It could be your boss or, you know, something to do with commitment. There's children involved. Let's see what this hangman is. The hangman is about taking things light. The card of enlightenment. Or what have you been gripping and hanging on to? It's stagnating your growth. Wow. And the wheel of fortune. Expect the unexpected, or there is some kind of unexpected change and twist and turn. And maybe you don't see it coming, or maybe you do. Wheel of Fortune is also second chances coming back around to you. So it's like if you miss some kind of opportunity in the past, this is coming back around to you again. Or there is something about you putting yourself and promoting yourself you know, stay on this high horse. But with the death card being there, it's like change, transition, and a transformation you're going through. And there could be a lot of attention on you at this time. Or there is something about like a ward, a reward. And this could possibly be cyclical. So it just keeps going around and around in circles. But here, it's like asking you to close this up. The Emperor, what's underneath the Emperor? Nine of Pentacles. Maintain your independence. This is also taking really good care of your health, wealth, and happiness. Self-worth and independence. There also could be somebody who is really independent. Or has been single for a long time. Like this could be like 
uh, a CEO or somebody who makes really good coin. Could be you again. And this Ace of Cups could be something about birthing something new. Let's see what this Ace of Pentacles is. Ace of Pentacles, a windfall. Something tangible, something you can taste, touch, and feel and get your hands on it. New house, new job, new commitment, new career path. And there is some kind of like excitement or eagerness. Good news worth sharing. And the Three of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. Three Cups is your card there, Cancer. It is about an announcement, a celebration, letting loose, having fun. And there is something financially here, like a financial increase or a boost. And I would just watch this because I feel like you're a little bit all work and no play. So here it's like some kind of internal conflict when it does come to love. Or even offering up love. Or there is somebody who is like proceeding with caution because they know you get a ton of attention. Yeah, Knight of Cups. See how this says Sunday, June 21st. Sunday, June 22nd. Sunday, June 20th. This person is by water or by boat. Page of Swords. Page of Swords could be inquiring, being inquisitive or asking a lot of questions. Or you investigating. This is also you pursuing something or writing something, just having something in writing. This is also my triggered energy. So somebody who says things without thinking, it could be a little bit blunt and pushy or my big talker. So again, somebody talks a big story, but their words and actions don't actually match. So always watch out for the big talker. Or if it's you that says, yeah, I'm going to go do this, then do it. Make sure your words and actions match. Yeah, this is like about discipline. Or there's some kind of like good news here and like an announcement or good news about a windfall or an award. See how all these people are like going out, letting loose, having fun. Finally, you can get out and socialize. These are new social networks. Cameo, light green, happiness, vibrancy, energy, and hope. And that's a number one. Yeah, there is something about delaying travel or you've been putting it off. Jovial pink, compassion, self-care, simplification, and beauty. I can, I matter, I am loved, and I am enough. So there has been some kind of rift with when it does come to love. Because this could be like an insecurity, and it's an old insecurity that you're still dragging around. So a new way of thinking and understanding of love changes everything for you this could also be changing your social um social circle or through something that you do when you're socializing there's opportunity that comes and this could be like word of mouth like somebody coming to you and being like oh um there's a great opportunity i know this person You are ready. Momentum, validation, encouragement, and prepared. Yeah, you are more than ready for this. But it is also an element of taking your training wheels off. You don't need your training wheels on anymore. You're ready to ride the bike. Spiritual relationships, intuition, connection, signs, and inspiration. And this is about following your enthusiasm or there has been some kind of good news and commitment and here it's like awards or rewards 
or getting out of something and it's like a new social interaction or meeting new friends or this opportunity comes in of when you either relocate and move because the wheel of fortune is like expansion and growth. So there's some kind of energetic cord or stagnation that isn't growing, but it's faded and destined for you. So again, it's like a new way of thinking or understanding of what cords do you need to cut here so that you can get the momentum and movement. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how this resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe. And Cancer, if you want to book a private reading with me, you can do so in the description box below. Click on the link. It will take you to the website and you can check out the options there. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.